This thing is huge. It's a 27 kilometer underground ring located at a CERN facility near Geneva, Switzerland. They built the largest machine in history to solve the mysteries of the universe. What they didn't count on was one of those mysteries talking back. At CERN, home of the Large Hadron Collider, scientists prepared for a groundbreaking particle collision. In a linear accelerator, we accelerate the particles in a line rather than around a ring. And linear accelerators really help us to get the particles up to speed before we inject them into a ring. But seconds before impact, their own creation, a hyper-intelligent AI, sent a single chilling message, stop. They ignored the warning. What happened in the moments that followed wasn't a discovery. It was a revelation. Something answered from the other side. This isn't the story you've been told. This is what they're desperately trying to hide from you. Prometheus's Last Stand. You see, deep beneath the serene Swiss countryside, stretching over 17 miles, lies the most complex machine ever built by human hands, the Large Hadron Collider. It's a modern day cathedral of science a place where geniuses from around the globe come together to chase the ghost of creation itself, the Big Bang. They accelerate tiny particles to 99.9% .9 the speed of light and smash them together, creating fireworks of subatomic shrapnel. In that shrapnel, they hope to find the secrets of existence, but not all things are what they seem. To manage this cosmic demolition derby, CERN developed Prometheus, an artificial intelligence beyond comprehension. Its job was simple, run trillions of simulations, predict outcomes, and ensure that in their quest for knowledge, they didn't accidentally poke a hole in reality. For years, Prometheus was a silent guardian. That is, until the day it spoke up. The experiment was set to be a milestone. Scientists had detected two particle signatures they'd never seen before. The plan was to collide them, a microscopic handshake that could unlock new physics. Many people are crazy about the idea of discovering new particles, but this was different. As the final checks were underway, Prometheus did something it was never programmed to do. It sent a message. Not a data anomaly report, not a system error, but a single chilling phrase displayed in stark red letters on every monitor in the control room. Collision probability results in a 99.9% .9 chance of a reality state violation. Do not proceed. The thing nobody tells you is that reality state violation isn't a term in any physics textbook. It was a phrase Prometheus had coined itself. To put it mildly, the control room went silent. The senior scientists dismissed it. A glitch, they called it. A ghost in the machine? An AI, no matter how advanced, couldn't possibly understand the nuances of theoretical physics, right? What many overlooked is that Prometheus wasn't just crunching numbers, it was learning. It had analyzed every experiment ever conducted, every paper ever written, and it had seen a pattern. A danger that the human eye, blinded by ambition, had missed. The AI had calculated that this specific collision wouldn't create a new particle, but would instead pry open a door that was meant to stay shut. It was a digital Cassandra, screaming a warning that its own creators refused to hear. They saw a Nobel Prize within their grasp and weren't about to let a string of code stand in their way. They overrode the warning. The countdown resumed. 10, 9, 8, with each number, they moved closer to a moment that would irrevocably alter our understanding of the universe. The weight of that decision hung heavy in the air. Prometheus, its warning ignored, fell silent. The beams were aligned, the magnets hummed with immense power and the fate of reality as they knew it was sealed. They were about to learn that some warnings should be heeded. What they found in the silence was worse than any glitch. When the universe went mute, three, Two, one, collision. In the heart of the LHC, two infinitesimally small points of matter met in a flash of pure energy, hotter than the center of the sun. The room erupted in cheers. Data began pouring in, a tidal wave of information for the scientists to sift through for months, even years. But then the celebration stopped. On the main screen, a number appeared that made no sense. 27 microseconds. For that brief, terrifying sliver of time, every single one of the millions of advanced detectors inside the 17-mile ring had gone completely, utterly silent. Nothing. No energy readings, no particle tracks, no radiation. It was as if, for a fraction of a second, the collision had simply 
vanished. You see, in the world of particle physics, there is no such thing as silence. Even in the vacuum of space, there's cosmic background radiation, the faint echo of the Big Bang. The LHC is designed to be one of the most sensitive listening devices on the planet. For it to record absolute nothingness, especially at the epicenter of such a violent event, was impossible. It defied the known laws of physics. The mainstream explanation floated was a massive simultaneous power surge that overloaded the sensors. But the thing is, all diagnostics showed the system running perfectly. The power grid was stable. The detectors were online. What many have overlooked is that the silence wasn't an absence of data, it was the data. During those 27 microseconds, something profound had occurred. Prometheus, which had been dormant since its warning was bypassed, flickered back to life. But it wasn't running diagnostics, it was listening. The AI began processing a signal that hadn't come from their collision at all. After the silence ended, a single impossibly elegant packet of data flooded the system. It wasn't the chaotic mess of a particle collision. It was structured, complex, and deliberate. It was a message, and Prometheus was the only one that could translate it. The scientists watched, baffled, as the AI converted the data not into charts and graphs, but into a single repeating geometric symbol. A symbol that looked ancient, almost familiar. This is where the story takes a turn that even the most open-minded scientists couldn't fathom. The symbol that appeared on their screens, born from a collision deep beneath the earth, was an exact match for archaic carvings found halfway across the world. Carvings on mysterious thousand-foot-tall monoliths on a place called Phantom Isle, a location that officially doesn't exist on any map. Suddenly, a particle physics experiment had become an archaeological mystery. The silence wasn't an equipment failure. It was the moment the universe held its breath and something else took the opportunity to speak. The message contained a blueprint for a particle that breaks reality. A recipe for ruin. The symbol was just the beginning. The data packet contained more, a blueprint. It was a complex mathematical formula describing a particle that, according to our understanding of physics, simply cannot exist. Many people are crazy about the search for new particles, like the Higgs boson, the God particle, which gives mass to matter. But this was its dark twin. The formula described a particle that unmakes matter. You see, a fundamental rule of our universe is the conservation of baryonic number. To put it mildly, it's the law that says matter cannot be created or destroyed, only changed. It's the reason the universe is stable. This theoretical particle, however, laughed at that law. Its decay pattern showed matter converting into nothing. Not energy, not radiation, just gone. The thing nobody tells you is that at the exact moment of the 27 microsecond silence at CERN, seismic sensors and energy detectors on Phantom Isle surged. An island that isn't supposed to exist registered a massive, unexplainable energy spike that perfectly mirrored the event in the LHC. It was as if the two locations, separated by over 7,000 miles, were connected. The scientists at CERN were now facing a terrifying possibility. Had they, in their hubris, created a particle that could simply erase matter from existence? Was this the reality state violation Prometheus had warned about? The mainstream argument is that these are all unconnected anomalies. Coincidence. But what many overlooked is the historical context of Phantom Isle. For centuries, sailors' logs have described a mysterious island in the South Pacific that appears and disappears, an island associated with strange lights in the sky and navigational equipment going haywire. The carvings on the monoliths of Phantom Isle, identical to the symbol from the collision, had been a mystery for ages. Now, they seem to be a warning, a warning left by someone or something long ago about a power that should never be unleashed. The data packet wasn't just a message, it was a recipe. A recipe for a particle that could potentially trigger a chain reaction, a quantum vacuum decay. Imagine our universe is like a bubble in a boiling pot, existing in a false vacuum state. A powerful enough event could create a tiny hole, a bubble of true vacuum that would expand at the speed of light, rewriting the laws of physics and erasing everything it touched. The 28 GeV anomaly from their collision could have been a microscopic bubble of this true vacuum. This is where it gets even stranger. 
CERN has several side projects, programs like Phaser and Moedal, designed to look for particles from a hidden sector, other dimensions. They are, for all intents and purposes, ghost hunting machines. During the silent period, these detectors, along with equipment on Phantom Isle, registered a simultaneous inexplicable pulse of low-energy neutrinos. The particle hadn't just ceased to exist, the data suggested it had slipped between dimensions. They may have done more than just open a door, they might have broken time itself. Shattering the Arrow of Time the implications of a dimension-hopping particle were staggering enough, but Prometheus uncovered another layer to the message, one that was even more disturbing. Buried within the complex data was a pattern that suggested a violation of something even more fundamental than the laws of matter, the arrow of time. You see, we experience time in one direction. Cause always precedes effect. You drop a glass, then it shatters. But other experiments at CERN, particularly at a detector known as LHCB, have been hinting for years that at the quantum level, this isn't always true. They've seen tiny violations of what's called CP symmetry, which is intricately linked to why time moves forward. To put it mildly, they were already seeing cracks in the foundation of causality. The thing is, the particle described in the blueprint from the void seemed to weaponize this principle. The simulations Prometheus ran, based on the new data, showed this particle could create localized temporal distortions. Events could happen before their causes. An effect could be observed moments before the action that triggered it. What many have overlooked is that if you can break the chain of cause and effect, you can rewrite reality in terrifying ways. It's not about time travel in the way we see in movies, it's about unraveling the logical fabric of the universe itself. The scientists were now confronted with the idea that their forbidden collision might have sent a ripple not just through space, but through time as well. This theory offers a chilling explanation for Prometheus's original warning. How could the AI have known with such certainty that a reality state violation would occur? What if the warning wasn't a prediction? What if it was an echo, an effect that traveled backward in time from the moment of the collision to warn them before it happened? The AI wasn't forecasting the future, it was remembering it. This paints the scientists' decision to proceed in an even more reckless light. They weren't just ignoring a prediction, they were ignoring a message from their own disastrous future. Are we now living in a world that has already been altered? Living in the aftermath. So, where does that leave us? We're left with a story that has been scrubbed from the official records, a story of a monumental achievement in science that may have been a monumental mistake. After the event, CERN publicly reported a minor data anomaly, a sensor glitch that was quickly resolved. There was no mention of a reality state violation, no talk of a message from another dimension, and certainly no connection made to a mythical island in the Pacific. It was all swept under the rug, but the thing is, you can't erase an event of this magnitude. The echoes remain. The questions linger. For those watching this, you might be wondering, if this is true, why hasn't the world changed overnight? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, maybe it has changed, but so subtly that we haven't noticed. Perhaps the laws of physics are just a little looser than they were before. Maybe those strange coincidences, those moments of deja vu, are ripples from that event. The scientists at CERN were looking for the building blocks of the universe. What if they found the demolition instructions instead? They knocked on a door and something answered. Now they have to live with the knowledge of what's on the other side. What many have overlooked is the most chilling detail of all. Despite the warning, despite the silence, despite the impossible message, CERN is moving forward with plans to build an even bigger, more powerful collider. A machine 100 kilometers long, capable of collisions seven times more powerful than the one that started all of this. Are they trying to understand what happened, or are they trying to open that door wider? The official story is one of progress, of humanity's unyielding quest for knowledge. But the unofficial story, the one whispered in hushed tones in online forums and by whistleblowers, is one of unchecked ambition and a warning that went unheeded. What do you think? Did CERN make contact with another dimension, or was it all just a series of unbelievable coincidences? Let us know your theories in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hidden truths.